Hey friends, Sherry here. Today I'm going to share with you a quick and easy mixed media layout. Uh, the other day I was looking for a photo of my daughter from kindergarten and realized I have not done very much of her elementary school album, so I thought I would get started on that. So I pulled out her fifth grade photo and what you can't see, her shirt actually has some little triangles on it and so I decided to play off of that and that color scheme from her shirt also. And um, a while back I had gone through the Hip Kit Club store and went through every single kit that they had to see what was still available from uh, months past. And I found this fabulous little color add-on uh, that had these Heidi Swap mini stencils in it. So I snatched that up and that's kind of where I'm starting this layout. Um, I added some bubblegum pink dilutions to some texture paste and as I was doing it I was like wow this really is bubblegum pink maybe a little too bright but I went ahead and uh, decided to go with it and then also mixed some up with the uh, Calypso teal uh, which is such a beautiful gorgeous color and of course to play off of her shirt so uh, here I'm just mixing that up and um, I probably obviously didn't need to mix it up that much but anyway now I am placing this down and getting going usually I'm so crazy I will tape everything off and uh, just to make sure I don't mess up and um, but this time I just decided what the heck I'm just gonna go for it um, since the stencil is small and my palette knife is a little large I, I had to be really careful not to um, go beyond the edges of the stencil because I wanted this to be a really clean layout so that it matches um, I don't this is really just a school album I don't want it to be you know crazy mixed media so I wanted to do something really clean and clean and simple so here I am uh, obviously adding more to the other side and um, I love collecting art supplies, but I have to admit a lot of times I'm a little bit lazy and just uh, don't pull them out. And so I'm kind of challenging myself to uh, really start using my supplies. And also my goal, since I'm relatively new to YouTube, uh, well, actually very new to YouTube, my goal is to make one layout a week. And initially I started out extremely simple because I felt as soon as I turned on the camera all of a sudden I just kind of lost my freedom to create so um, this video is really a, a lesson for myself also to learn to be a little freer and it, I will admit it's getting easier every week uh, so bear with me as I um, try to really have some freedom when creating while filming. Um, here what I'm doing is masking off one of the triangles because obviously I didn't want that to overlap. I wanted to incorporate some of the teal color triangles over in with the pink so I'm just carefully uh, placing the texture paste uh, as carefully as I can so that I can have a combination of the colors together. Oh, I just love how that looks. So pretty. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I get excited. There I actually had a little smudge and I just took a little wet wipe and wiped it off and thankfully it um, actually worked. So um, I had to kind of play around with this a little bit and figure out exactly I had to turn it off and dried a little bit so actually after I did all the texture paste I decided that the bubblegum pink was a little too bright so I took some neo color and made a little purple wash um, and I'm just doing a little watercolor wash over all of those pink triangles to tone them down just a little bit and I'm really happy with the way that turned out. I actually could have done it over the teal too to kind of make it match the paper a little bit more, but I decided what the heck. I really wanted that teal to uh, complement my daughter's t-shirt. So um, 
here I'm just having a little fun coloring all the triangles and it's amazing what just a little uh, subtle wash can do to that bubblegum pink. I knew as I was mixing it up I probably should have changed the tone um, while I was doing it but uh, I didn't want to stop the camera and mess with that so I just thought this would be an easier way once I saw it dry but um, obviously the color really didn't change that much. Okay, so let's talk about pattern paper. I loved that little triangle paper from um, Crepe Paper Confetti. And I had cut a little strip on the top of the bottom, uh, uh, the top of my layout and bottom. And here I am matting my photo with uh, Dear Lazy Serendipity paper. It has all these really sweet words and just the raspberry color complements the layout really well. I decided I would um, pop those up since the texture paste is a little thick and has some dimension to it. Notice I did not take the sticky tabs off yet because I'm still not exactly sure where I want to place my photo. So I'm just leaving those on right now so I can start um, pulling the layout together. And once I am really committed to the spot, then I'll adhere it. Here I pulled out uh, some thickers from my stash. I, I love this color. It's just such a fun, vibrant color. And uh, the beautiful thing about thickers, I always call them repositionable thickers. Uh, the chipboard ones rarely are sticky and it's perfect because you can just move them around and play. Actually, uh, that reminds me, I probably, as soon as I'm done uh, with this voiceover, I would probably go glue them down. <laughs> but anyway, because I hate flipping through my albums later and finding half of my title at the bottom of the uh, page protector. But anyway, now I'm committed to my spot and I'm adhering my photo. That's always a, a good feeling when you know uh, then the layout can really take shape. So... Now I'm just playing a little bit with the placement, and uh, it's been such a crazy week. My daughter had her last character assembly this week, and this is what kind of started this whole process. I was trying to find a photo of her from kindergarten from her first character assembly, and um, then I realized, wow, I, I have been so lazy in regards to their school albums, so... Uh, I must step it up and quickly because otherwise they're going to be graduated and have nothing done. So uh, anyway, as I've been doing this, it's just amazing to me how quickly the time has gone and even though she'll always be my baby, I just... I just realized she's not a baby anymore, which I knew that. <laughs> she's definitely ready for middle school, but it's still, uh, it's, I just can't believe we're to this place already. Okay, so now I am pulling out some of the gorgeous Pink Fresh Studio die cuts. I love those, the fun, bright colors, and I'm just playing around, figuring out uh, which ones I want to use. The, there were so many gorgeous ones. I, I can't wait to do another layout with these actually. They're so fun and pretty and they just have little touches of gold and a raspberry color and pretty shades of blue. Um, I decided there I wanted to switch over to the raspberry label because it just offered some contrast with the thickers and then I found that beautiful little die cut that says happy and um, the fun little star there so I'm just as you can see placing some of these fun little embellishment die cuts down on my layout now I'm getting ready to adhere them I'm going to use a pop-up dot on the back of that because the photo is already popped up so let's see um, the kids this month well every month are just so gorgeous but uh since the kits were a little late in arriving due to the um, shipping strike, not shipping strike, I'm not sure if that's the right word. Um, they were having some trouble with uh, something in the shipping over on the West Coast. But anyway, everything finally got here and I've been 
dying to scrap, but I've had such a busy week. I haven't really had any opportunity, so it was fun to finally take the time this morning uh, to do have some creative time. It's always a nice little therapeutic thing for me to do. Yesterday was filled with soccer, um, which we had a blast. Unfortunately, uh, my daughter's team lost both games, but it was such a beautiful day. The sun was shining and um, lots of fun at the soccer field yesterday. Here I am pulling out some stamps, uh, some little date stamps. I just wanted to date this uh, fifth grade 2014-2015 and um, pulling out, oh this, this is the fun little thing, these little stamp sets, uh, this little stamp set with the years. Uh, I used to belong to another kit club and at one point they had asked us what kind of stamps we would like to see and I begged them for a stamp set that just had a bunch of years so I can't even remember it started maybe at 2010 and goes all the way up to 2019 needless to say I love those stamps I use them all the time and even though they did not call them this I actually call those sherry stamps <laughs> but uh, anyway it was kind of fun to see my request granted and a stamp set made with my little dates because um, Sometimes I get lazy and don't want to pull out the individual numbers. It's nice just to have the years already on one little stamp. And here, once again, I'm just placing a few enamel dots and uh, the little banner from the Pink Fresh Studio that says Life is Good and a few uh, enamel dots. And I also, I knew I wanted to use the rest of my rub-ons from the Pink Fresh Studio, but I could not find them as I was in my piles on my workspace as I was uh, shooting the video but at, you'll see after the fact that when I was cleaning up my desk I did find the rub-ons and was able to add them so um, that's about it um, excited to have completed my first mixed media layout using my hip kit club kits um, um, an assortment of those so as always thank you so much for watching and um, Leave me a comment if you'd like to. Thank you.